Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Christina Kent, and I'm an artist based out of San Francisco. And today I want to talk about how you can build community as an artist. And this video is specifically meant for people like me who are independent artists um, and didn't start out with a large art community. Or maybe you went to art school and you had an art community, but since you've graduated, you've sort of lost touch. So you're trying to rebuild those connections. One of the nice things about art is that it is something that you can do on your own, which I think is really cool. But it's also super fun if you have other artists that you can hang out with, have studio days with, get feedback on your work, um, and just generally support each other throughout the creative process. So in this video, I want to hopefully give you some ideas on how you can build community as an artist by sharing my own story. And as a quick note, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, but if you want to support my work, you can purchase my paintings through my website, you can like, comment, subscribe to this video, or you can join my Patreon. All of these things really help. Okay, so how have I built community as an artist? Um, if you've seen a few other videos on my channel, you probably know that I don't have an art background. I studied a PhD in economics, and so when I got back into painting after a very long break, I really didn't have any art community to speak of. I didn't have any close friends who were pursuing visual art, especially not painting. And I definitely didn't know any professional artists, any art dealers, gallerists, curators, none of that. I felt completely estranged from the art world. I didn't even know where to start. And so, as a lot of artists do, I started just posting my work to Instagram. I started with social media. And I was doing daily paintings, so I would pretty much make a new post every day, either a painting or a sketch, but I was regularly showing my work on the platform. And I feel like this went on for about a year, where I was just kind of posting, just interacting with people online, um, not talking to anyone in person, just kind of like working away um, in my living room at the time, posting my work, but feeling pretty isolated as an artist. But yeah, after about a year, um, I started noticing these artists popping up on my feed who were doing similar work to what I was doing. A lot of still life painters, daily painters, and so I started to see, okay, it seems like there are other artists doing what I'm doing at a similar level and maybe I could have a community here. I started liking and commenting on their work, sort of getting to know what they would usually do, and they commented on mine as well. I also looked at the hashtags that they were using and uh, used similar hashtags on my post so that I could connect with more artists like that. And I even noticed that they were kind of doing these similar art challenges where um, artists on social media will all use the same hashtag for a particular challenge. Like if you're an illustrator, they do, I think, Inktober. Um, for painters, there's the food paint challenge, there's um, the strata easel challenge. But there are these art challenges where artists who are painting in a similar style or a similar subject matter will use the same hashtag. And then you can kind of easily see who else is painting kind of similar to what you're working on. So that gave me my first sort of semblance of a small art community. But I quickly noticed with social media, the connections felt really weak. It just wasn't satisfying to chat with people in little snippets of comments online. So for me, the key thing was to figure out how to take these online connections and turn them into real offline relationships. And so I started paying attention to where the artists I was following were from. And I noticed that while most of them lived in different cities or even different countries, there were a few that actually lived right in my same city. Admittedly, this is a lot easier if you live in a big city, but it's not impossible with small towns too. I have met some really wonderful, very, uh, very warm, very close-knit art communities in small towns. So when I saw that these other painters were in the Bay Area, um, then I sort of paid attention to, well, what was their art style like? Um, what was their practice like? Were they going out and painting every day? Did they have sort of a similar style to me? I tried to gauge if, um, if we seemed to be sort of a good match. And then I would comment on their work. And if they commented back on mine, um, then I took that as a good sign that they might be open to connecting. So once I identified a few of these artists and we had a little back and forth over Instagram, then I just asked them, hey, do you want to paint together? And I think here I have to note it's important to be safe um, if you're meeting up with someone that you've just spoken with online. I always try to make sure I meet up with them in a public place during the day, you know, so there's not, not much to worry about. So be safe and if you get a bad feeling, trust that feeling. And so I reached out to a few of these artists and this can be a little nerve wracking, you know, um, whenever you reach out to someone, you're opening yourself up for rejection. Um, but just, you know, keep that in mind, like some people will be too busy and that's okay. If you reach out to enough people, chances are at least one of them is going to say yes. And if people say no, you know, they have their own lives going on, like be respectful of their time. Um, maybe it's just not the right time. But for me, luckily, a few people did say yes. And so we got to go out to paint together and become friends. 
And through those people, I gradually started to meet their friends and the friends of their friends. And I also started to get to know the galleries that these artists were showing in. Then I go to the openings of those galleries and meet even more artists. So gradually, bit by bit, I started to build my artistic community. And so that's the main way I've been building my artistic community. But there are other things that you can do as well. For example, if you rent a studio, if you rent it from an organization that rents to multiple artists, then um, you can be like in my situation where there are a few other artists in my building. And so throughout the day, I'll bump into them, I introduce myself, and we can chat a little bit about art and get to know each other. I think different studios have different cultures, so some might be more straight to business and work focused, but others might have community events that you can get involved in. Another great option is joining an art organization. So here in California, we have the California Art Club, which hosts paintouts and meetups and other events. There's also the Oil Painters of America. Um, there's the Portrait Society of America and similar organizations that host annual events for all of their members or local events that you can go to to help meet other artists who have similar interests to you. You can also go to openings of artists you like. Usually the artists at themselves at the opening will be very busy and might not be able to talk to you much, but you can talk to other people at the opening, meet other artists there, because chances are if you both came to the opening of this artist, you share similar interests. And lastly, you can go to art classes in your area. This can be a great way to meet up with artists who are on a similar level to you. Um, and also oftentimes these classes will occur on a regular basis. So you get to see the same people over and over again and start to get to know them. And I think in this process, it's just really important to keep an open mind and stay positive. It can be super intimidating at first, but gradually you can start to get to know people and find your community. But yeah, so that's how I've started to develop my community as an artist. And I hope that my experience has given you some ideas that you can use if you're also looking for community. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions or things that have worked for you, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a big shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting this channel and making these videos happen. If you like my art, if you like my videos, and you want to help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.